So, hello there. I posted a video last night about the Netherlands, and I have over 7,500 videos that I've made and posted. Never have I ever posted a video with such a response. That video was not monetized. You're not actually allowed to monetize uh, current event happenings and so forth and so on on YouTube, and I don't care about that. I actually care about information. So, but since making that video about roughly posting it at 3 a.m. last night, it's got like 190,000 views, which is completely off the hook, you know, by many magnitudes. 1,800 comments. I read every comment. I'm still making my way through the comments because there are actually so many. I've heard from a lot of Dutch since making that video. I've been seeking out confirmation on many of the points. I've found confirmation on many of the points and some other things to add about is what's going on in the Netherlands. Um, some, I did accurately say that it's not really being covered. I have found videos from Sky News Australia, Al Jazeera, and a couple of other places, but nobody is really covering it, and other people have made that confirmation. I've been watching uh, Rumble videos and seeking confirmation from people that are actually on the ground. Um, I've seen two different videos, and they're not fake. I've looked at them multiple times of uh, police shooting at a, a farm tractor going by and it was not like you know running into anybody or going too fast or plowing anything it was just rounding it looked like a roundabout on one of the videos and you could see the cops actually drew uh, their sidearms and actually fired at the tractor you couldn't tell from the angle of the video if they were firing at the uh, tractor driver I mean, but it's absolutely heinous. I've seen two such videos on that front. All of this is based, which is completely ridiculous, this New World Order um, evil. I mean, there's nothing else to call it other than uh, Hague-based evil. I don't know if we could say it's sourced in the Hague. We could say the Bilderbergers or other entities that I certainly won't name that you could take a guess at. And I'm no conspiracy theorist. I can't stand radical tinfoil hat lunacy. I'm all about facts, logic, and wisdom. Wisdom, excuse me. A little a verbal uh, flub there. I'm not about flying off the handle. That's a, uh, an American expression. I'm pretty sure that the Dutch will understand me. They're asking for, calling for a 30 to 70% reduction in nitrogen emissions, i.e. nitrous oxide and ammonia. It's completely insane. It's absolutely ridiculous. Let's talk about, uh, talk about a couple of the things that I've seen here. And several Dutch they have sent me this information, and I've seen video confirmation of this. These are undeniably state actors, 100% state actors. They're clothed in black, and they have on black uh, ski mask uh, hoodies, and uh, they're seen uh, engaging in what can only be called thuggery, not by people that are like wielding bats or implements, you know, swinging in at police or whatnot, but coming up and nabbing people and dragging them off, uh, you know, by the nape of their neck, by their uh, shirt collar, thugs and hoodies, 100% government men dragging them away to unmarked vans. Um, several uh, locals in the Netherlands have told me that this is illegal. Obviously, I don't feign to know the laws and the ins and outs of the Netherlands. Um, this has been confirmed from many locations and from many people that have emailed me that are actually confirmed there of uh, pictures of bare shelves because uh, the farmers are blocking food distribution facilities. Uh, confirmed that there is at least eight distribution centers for food that are blocked by farmers. I've actually seen some quite astonishing um, both video and photographic proof um, uh, in uh, one of uh, three cities that I know of. I don't know how far widespread it is in the countryside. I won't feign to know that. But uh, many, many sources have confirmed to me bare shelves uh, in, uh, in the Netherlands. Um, once you control the food, you do control the people. Um, I'd like to make a comment after this and make an important statement that other people have said this, and I'm only parroting it because this is, when I heard this, people in the Netherlands actually told me, a few people, they said, watch what happens, you know, something big is going to happen in the Netherlands around about your 4th of July. And it did. I mean, it's been going on a little bit before then, but it's apparently been escalating up a big time. Um, now, once you control the food, you know, you do control the people. And what they're trying to do is trying to put the farmers out of business. 
once the farmers they're barely squeaking by as it is and farmers in the United States have always had that issue just barely squeaking by you know even if they come up with a uh, short in the red you know they, they still feel successful even though they've come up in the red just not too deep in the red that they're trying to put all these uh, farmers out of business and once that happens then the land becomes unsustainable for the farmers and the farmers family and they have to forfeit the land because they can't uh, pay all the fees and the equipment fees and diesel so on and so forth so you've taken what has become basically impossible to make a living at and what the government has done and i'm parroting what is common sense facts logic and also to what is being told to me on the ground you're taking what is a basically non-existent margin for these farmers and you've absolutely just flat out crucified them it's like someone only had five dollars of gas per week to drive to work and all of a sudden you've told them well now you've uh, you've got a a uh, hundred dollar tax per week and gas is shot up four times as much. I mean it just becomes a completely untenable impossible situation where these Dutch farmers have been absolutely hardcore flat out crucified they've been crucified and their anger is you know it's absolutely understandable but this is all a move to seize land once you have people on their knees, I've been saying this a million times, you control them. Once you have people on their knees, it's over with. On your knees, it's over with. People don't realize this. Things move slowly until they move quickly. And uh, things are moving uh, quickly. Um, I've actually had a, a, a few locals, a few Dutch tell me, if it was going to start anywhere, you know, in this nasty fashion, it would start here in the Netherlands, which... Uh, test grounds for this new world order, world economic forum, uh, tyrannical uh, train wreck, uh, satanic disaster. Let me repeat that, satanic disaster, which is the countries that I keep hearing from where this, this great evil is uh, being the proving grounds, not to say the United States is not a proving ground of this, is uh, New Zealand, Australia, Canada, and the Netherlands. On a last note to those in the Netherlands and also to in the United States, some people flap their lips and you really know what somebody has genuine conviction in by where they put their money. You, know, you put your money where your mouth is. It's an American saying. And uh, I have basically sold everything for the past many years. I've always invested in land, okay? But I've sold everything not glued down in my life and bought raw land. I have uh, farmland, and I have more farmland, and I have a cabin in the woods, and it has its own farmland. Um, I, I literally have put every nickel and sold everything not glued down, you know, to buy raw land, to uh, not only as an investment, but a hedge against this kind of evil, and I also, too, have a sixth sense on land, a really, really good sixth sense. I have a 100% track record on hunting down raw land. Um, I don't know how these farmers are going to make it. Maybe they're going to have to sell off 80% of their land and just use the remaining 10 or 20% to sustain their families. But how are they going to make it? They can't make it as farmers anymore. This is, just a, this is just nothing other than a demonic seizure of land by forcing these farmers who are only squeaking by, not even squeaking by, and the same is true of American farmers, not even squeaking by. Like every year you'd, they'd run into the red. Yeah? It's like, how deep into the red do they run? You know, thank goodness for government subsidies, right? Here in America, that's the case. These farmers, they just cannot make it. They can't. You top that off with what the government is doing in the Netherlands with this 30 to 70 percent uh, New World Order uh, nitrogen reduction. And it's completely evil, completely arbitrary, is, is hardcore demonic. There's nothing else to call it other than demonic, and it is demonic. You take the fuel prices on top of the 30 to 70 percent demand uh, by this uh, evil cabal for a reduction of nitrogen emissions, and you have something that's just flat out evil, and it is incredibly understandable why the, the Dutch are just mad as hell. 
Uh, best wishes to those in the Netherlands that are having to put up with this. Um, I don't tell anybody what to do, and I'm certainly not going to do that in this video. And I read every comment, and I'm going to spend like until 3 or 4 o'clock in the morning, literally, reading all the comments from the prior video on the Netherlands and also to the comments on this video. I do not monetize those videos. I don't make a penny off of them at all. I love uh, uh, feeding my mind with information and spreading information out. I, I absolutely love that above all else. I really do. Even if people, even then, people that hate me know that that's the case. So, I've seen some amazing stuff out of the Netherlands. Uh, stuff that's just uh, almost unbelievable from a very peaceful people. But I can see why they're mad as hell, and they have every right to be mad as hell. So. Best of luck to you. I wish you the best. L please feed me any information or pictures that you have. And uh, thanks for your response. And I'll continue to read all your comments. I read every comment, even the really nasty ones, you know, the ones that are mean, mean and abusive, you know. <laughs> There's some of those. So thank you. And uh, best wishes.